Welcome back. This is Rito here with another Terraria Calamity Endgame Weapon Showcase. Today we're going to be looking at the amazing Murasama, and that's not to be confused with the Muramaso, which I'm holding right here, which you get in the dungeon. What we're looking at today is the Murasama, and it is really funny how it gets held if you're using the Weapons Out mod. It's like the biggest sword ever, and you hold it by the blade. So I don't know what the deal is with that, but... Let me go ahead and turn that off because that looks just kind of silly. And here is what it looks like. It is essentially an Arcalis upgrade or a Terragrim upgrade, but I love the way it's like a red color effect and everything. Pretty sweet. So we're going to have to test this out on all sorts of things. And we'll also discuss how to acquire it and how to use it. This has been such a highly requested weapon for me to review. And rightly so, because it is just a really awesome upgrade to the Arcalis. You can see right here, the effects that I'm shooting out aren't doing any damage. You gotta actually hit them with it, which means this is a very, very close range true melee weapon. The tooltip for the Murasama shows that it has 3,446 melee damage, 131% critical strike chance, fast speed, insane knockback, and it says there will be blood and it is ID and power level locked, and it says prove your strength or have the correct user ID to wield the sword. This sword is not able to be used until you've defeated the jungle dragon Yaren. It, however, can be obtained in pre-hard mode. Basically, what you're gonna be looking for is down in the underworld, there are little shrines that will appear. So you may have to make a few worlds and explore the underworld until you can find this weapon, but it is pretty awesome, especially if you've defeated Yaren. So let's go ahead and see what type of damage it can do. So it is up to 800,000. Oh my gosh, 900,000. Yeah, this is insane. I think we're gonna be able to kill the target dummy. Yeah, we just killed the super target dummy so quickly. Yeah, that's very impressive. I don't kill super target dummies very often. So yeah, this can do 900,000 damage per second. And I'm sure we could optimize our accessories and all that sort of stuff a lot more and even do more damage. Let's go ahead and try this out against some bosses. So maybe let's start with Providence and this will be kind of tricky. We're going to, have to get really close. But once when we do get close, you can see we're just melting the boss. Yep, it only takes a few hits and we can get them. And we could try the Devourer of Gods and if we land body hits, we should be able to still kill the boss pretty effectively. Yeah, if we just land these body hits right here, you can see just crazy damage. So we'll do one more and I think we'll be able to defeat it this time. Oh, 1%, so we'll get it right here. Okay, now let's try it in an event like against the Solar Eclipse. And this is the post Moon Lord version of the Solar Eclipse. And yeah, it's doing pretty well. You basically can just run in a line and instantly kill everything in front of you. Pretty powerful. And it's nice that it does a little bit of a glow there. Lastly, let's try it out on the buffed version of the Ravager. I'm curious how it would go. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that is insane. <laughs> Oh, that is so cool to see it just completely destroy a boss like that. I want to try that out once more. So you can just destroy all of the sides and you have to kind of jump off the ground to hit the rest of it. That is such a crazy fast clear. Well, that concludes our showcase of the awesome Murasama. I think for a lot of people, this will be more of a novelty item because it just requires you to be so close. So if you're gonna to try to use it on Supreme Calamitous, it probably won't work out too well for you. But there are definitely plenty of applications where this is a fun, unique, and interesting weapon to use in the end game. Thanks everybody who requested this weapon. It was so fun to review and see what the Arcalis could be if it had crazy buffed damage. I hope you all enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. I also post lots of other content like showcase videos and I'm working on a master mode melee playthrough. So be sure to check that out if you're interested. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.